First construction joint, panning from the invert up and around. The joint is dry, but the sealer is missing. Apparently, was not installed. Moving on. going to pan each joint This joint's a little tighter. The other ones were opened up about three quarters of an inch. This is opened up anywhere from uh, an eighth to uh, three eighths. Uh, minor spall at the eight o'clock position. Once again, the joint is opened up about half inch to three quarter inch this joint apparently had some uh, concrete applied this is apparently the uh, beginning of the extension section see the concrete and aggregate that was applied to the joint. The joints opened up about two and a half inches at the maximum point. Stand by one second. Okay, panning. There's a one eighth inch wide crack running from uh, this joint to the next joint. It's about uh, eight inches of sediment buildup in this location. Once again, we have a crack at the 12 o'clock position, about 3 sixteenths inch wide, running from joint to joint. Here you can see the sediment. In this location, we have two cracks running from joint to joint at the uh, 1 o'clock and 11 o'clock positions. 11 o'clock is about a sixteenth of an inch wide. 1 o'clock is quarter to 3 sixteenths. The joint here is opened up approximately 1 inch maximum. We have another crack running from joint to joint, 12 o'clock position, approximately 3 eighths inch in, in width. This 
sediment and is hindering the inspection of the invert of the pipe from the 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock position. Once again, we have two cracks, one at the 11, one at 1 o'clock, approximately a quarter inch in width, running joint to joint. This next joint is opened up about an inch to an inch and a half. There is some uh, settlement and displacement between these two sections. Approximately two inches differential. See here, there's also a void behind this, this uh, section. Void is uh, unknown depth, but appears to be at least six inches deep behind the wall, the pipe wall. Also accompanied by some edge spalling with exposed reinforcement. This next joint has been sealed with grout and is in good condition. Okay, we are now at the transition between the CMP section and the concrete section. CMP typically exhibits moderate to heavy scale from 5 o'clock the seven o'clock position. Some minor joint separation between the two sections of CMP, approximately one half inch in width. Coating is generally intact, about 80 to 90 percent. This joint has been filled with a grout material, you can see here. going to pan each joint as a matter of course. See the corrosion between the uh, seven five o'clock positions which is typical.
hardware is in fair condition. Some advanced corrosion on the, uh, the nuts. The bolt, bolt heads appear to be in good condition. That condition is typical. Going to complete the inspection with the video and then take still photographs uh, going back out of the pipe. So you can see now we're moving closer to the four bay and the corrosion is getting a little worse. Uh, it's now extending to the four o'clock to eight o'clock positions and it is uh, moderate to heavy. You can also see the condition of the hardware which is progressively getting worse. As you can see, some of the hardware is actually bent. Reason is unknown. We assume it was bent on installation.
Typical openings at the joints and the CMP range from quarter inch to one inch. Levels of corrosion continue to be consistent at between the 5 o'clock, 7 o'clock positions being moderate to heavy. We're now entering the fore bay of the control tower. We're at the end of the outlet conduit. Concrete surfaces exhibit incipient scale only in very good condition. Try and get a picture of uh, the underwater portions before the sediments are disturbed. You can still see the timber form marks in the walls. Concrete is in excellent condition. See the back sides of the gates. Here's the overhead surface. Once again, back side of the gate. This is the upstream end of the CMP conduit section where it meets the uh, four bay. And that concludes the video inspection of the outlet conduit. Mathis Lake Dam.